<laughs> Y'all, what's up? Y'all, uh, they did open the monthly box. So there were two things that I really wanted to use out of the box. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and snatch those. Uh, we do have to leave some of the things for Jordan because he said he would shake Tammy over it. Watch out, that word. <laughs> you get blocked. I get blocked. You're looking for this, but it's marches. Is that what you're looking yeah. for? Yeah, I don't see it. That and the uh, QR code one's missing. <coughs> Y'all, so I wanted to grab this one. Rochelle, I heard about the tornadoes in Texas, and we are definitely thinking about you guys. We uh, checked in with a few friends already. So I wanted this one, mainly because those little rain boots match the Swiss dot perfectly. And who doesn't love a good Swiss dot? Mm. Y'all, I'm also cracking up at some of y'all who are sending me text messages saying how your grandkids love the rubber boots. And some people are wearing them. Yeah, and some people are even wearing the rubber boots. <coughs> we should have put Deco Exchange on there somewhere. There's some papers right there. These? I don't know if it's them, but there are some. No, those are that's different. Darn it. All right, so y'all, also, if you got your subscription box, make sure you check out the uh, your invited invitation. That's always fun. Uh, Lori said she can wear the rain boots. Lori, they're not white. Shrimp boots. That ain't your style, girl. Oh, wait. This was not in the monthly box. That fell in there. All right. Let's get to work, y'all. <clears throat> Is Jordan okay in Texas? Last we heard, he was fine. See, if he would have came to Louisiana like he was supposed to, we wouldn't have this problem. You found me in Massachusetts. That's fun. Only time you'll see me there. Never say never. Mm. Pretty, pretty sure. All right. Your 28 daughter loved the rain boots? Penny. Listen, I don't... If you wear those rain boots, that's perfectly fine. All right, so here's our sign. So of course we're gonna pull in the greens, pinks, yellows, uh, the turquoise, the purple. Yeah, Jordan should be live in the coaching group right now. All right. Get this good and fluffed out. Was there supposed to be mesh or did you add that? Um, I added it. You can always look at your sheet of paper and see exactly what's supposed to be on there. I'm trying to hunt down that sheet of paper. Y'all, I know I'm not gonna use this whole roll, so I'm gonna take my uh, paper here and just stash it right into the roll. Uh, this one I did grab off the shelf, so it may be in stock. This is RY9302567. All right. Got that tucked in there. Just gonna throw that on the floor with about 30 other pieces of mesh. Debbie says her Wreath Mafia shirt is so soft and pretty. It really is. Uh, Glenda, no one's gonna reach out to you from the live video, but just call, leave a voicemail, uh, send an email. They are working those as they get them. Hey, Helen. All right. Y'all, we're gonna add 10 inch poofs right around the top. 
Y'all, I love that this mesh has a little stripe of white in it. It's just gonna really lighten that color. All right, so we're gonna just pick a spot, measure our 10 inches and go around. Carol, you like the, the box this month? Y'all, next month, we had a custom thing made just for the box. We came in and I thought Parker was gonna cry. Oh, oh. Y'all. What are you talking about? No, I don't. Uh, but I can't even tell you what it's supposed to be because it'd give away the box. But, um, it's the wrong color. Like, not just a little bit the wrong color, like, they ran out of ink and can't print in the wrong color. But we're gonna make it work for something else. Oh. So, uh, that item, we were able to negotiate with the supplier, and we were able to keep it at a little, little bit of a discount. So it'll just be like a bonus in the box. Linda, uh, I don't have an Ashley that works for me, so I'm not sure who you talk to. We've got a Sandy, we've got Jennifer, we've got Rhonda, no Ashley. Follower that saw us at Umi and didn't say hi to us. Rude. <laughs> she said, I saw you. How was Umi? I saw you guys walking out. What? Who was that? Jennifer Gonzalez. Why didn't you come talk to us? What? I was like, Are you kidding me right now? It was delicious, though. It was good. Listen, Umi has what they call them uh, tempura jalapenos. I'm pretty sure they're bell peppers. <laughs> It's their secret, but we figured it out. <laughs> like, there's absolutely nothing spicy about them. And we've gotten them a dozen times in the last, this year. This year, literally. And they've never had a spicy one. And I've never had any type of stuffed jalapeno that was never, right. like, a single time, like, they missed something. It doesn't even taste like a... It tastes like a sweet mm, pepper. Yeah. I've had a jalapeno that's been completely empty, and that was, no, it was totally different. But it was delicious. I don't care what it is. Yeah, it, it was good. good. We're going to keep eating the bell peppers. Glenda, I'm, I'm highly suggesting that you don't call and that you send an email to info at damonotes.com. Whenever you send an email, one of five people can work with you. When you call, only one person can. All right, we are gonna take this and cut it off. Jennifer and David Gonzalez, someone was talking to me. You know how that goes. Yes, we love it there. Where were you at? Because I wasn't with like 10 people in there. I wonder if she was in that big group. There was a big group that came in right before we left. All right, so we did our 10 inch poofs. All right, it's looking very pink lemonade ish right now. Um, the yellow is definitely a fabric mesh, but it's a stiff fabric. Uh, side note. If you're in the creative coaching group, um, I am on one-on-one -on -one calls from 11 a.m. to 5.30, and I think we're gonna have really bad weather starting around four. So we may or may not be able to have class tomorrow night. Just a heads up there. And if, if the radar is saying it's gonna be that bad, I may go earlier. I may go an hour earlier if it's gonna be that bad. Because we won't be able to hear anything. Well, you can hear fine in that warehouse. Oh, good. But in this one, no. Okay, good. This one is a whole other story. Listen, if I say, see ya, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. 
So I may be hanging out with y'all on Sunday too. All right, so this is also a fabric mesh. Um, we lost the paper for this one, y'all. This one is a thicker fabric. And then this one is a really soft fabric. I really like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it so soft, but I do. I love the shimmer. How can you buy a doormat? You can go to welcomishdoormats.com. What you reading, Tammy? Where did I find the frames with the pink tinsel ties? DecoExchange.com. Just comment. Well, if they can type it, you can read it out loud. Just questions. Uh, Betty sold her first wreath on Etsy. Yay! Awesome. All right, y'all, we're going to cut some ruffles. I'm going to do... Uh, 30 inch around the bottom, 20 inch around the top. There's 18 twists, 10 on bottom, eight on top. So we're gonna start with our 30 inch. You're gonna have me doing this method when I go home. It's fun. I like it. Mine is how you did that, your ruffle though, cause your ruffle was way too big. Oh, I love fun. Well, yeah, it got really tall. I yeah. think I did it, I think instead of 10, I did more like 12. And I kept going with it. It was really poofy. It was tall. I think it's because, so on ours, we curl in a good chunk of it, and then we ruffle it. So the ruffle isn't quite as, like, oh, thick as yours. So you might be able to get away with just a 20-inch ruffle the way you, that you do your ruffles. Maybe. Because I probably curl a good 10 inches in before I ruffle it. Really? Yeah. I think you do more like a woodland ruffle. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. All right, there's one. Y'all, people were fighting over Tammy's wreath last night. It was so funny. Oh, I thought for real there was going to be a shootout over wreath. I was going underneath the table. <laughs> this, uh, our friend's mom was there, and she uh, lives in an assisted living, and she wanted that wreath to hang up so she could be the talk of the, I going to say the town, but I guess the talk of the building. She said she needed it, and she was getting pulled for the raffle. She did, too. Uh, both of these mesh are available in the shop, but I don't have the skew. If you type in turquoise, the blue one will show up. So that's how I found it. Four. We need one more. Jordan's class is amazing. Mm. I saw the beginning of it, and it already looked cool. He did a uh, swag. All right, so there's our 10 at 30. Now we need eight at 20. Uh, Shelly joined both the challenge and the class. Can you hear the wind howling out there? Is that what that is? Your mom is going to be like a cat in a room full of rocking chairs tomorrow. She's really nervous. I'm surprised she didn't uh, go to the house. Which house? Jordan blew y'all away to my, at my house instead of uh, the little red house. Oh. All right. There's an eight. Y'all, we have enough left over for another project. We'll just throw that down there. He made an awesome arrangement. I thought he was doing a swag. Did it turn into an arrangement? All right, so we're gonna take our 30 inch cuts first. Whoa. Jordan's piece is a work of art. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I know, like he should be texting us by now with a photo of it. Uh, yeah, here, I'm just gonna be like, uh, we need it. Y'all, Jordan is so funny. Whenever he does a project, if he thinks it's cute, he sends us, like, 14 photos of it and goes, I just made that. 
All right, y'all, we got our 30-inch piece. We're going to curl our edges in just a little bit, just like that. Then we ruffle. Jackie, we have all those instructions inside of our membership. You found me in Canton, Georgia. That's fun. Oh my gosh. A sympathy easel was made. It was a slack with $150 and supplies somewhere. Well, listen, I paid $400 for a sympathy wreath. Oh my gosh. That looked like it came off the front of an 18 wheeler. You know how they put those little Christmas wreaths out front? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good analogy. Really Y'all, I don't ever complain about anything. I just take it, whatever it was, bad food, whatever. Like, it takes a lot for me to say something. I emailed the florist. I was like, look, our arrangement was the only one there, and it looked like y'all drug it behind the car. And you charged me $420 for it. What? Well, they didn't even use the right flowers. No, it was supposed to be mom's roses and baby's breath. Yeah. And it was hydrangeas, zinnias. And carnations, the cheapest and flower you can use. Carnations. And the, the greenery was uh, like bay leaves or something. It was, the, it was the least inexpensive florals they could find. They pocketed the other three hundred seventy-five dollars. Is what they did. I was like, "What in the heck?" Hey, Jeslyn. Uh, I need to go to Michael's. I need to go figure out what I'm gonna make this week. Y'all, if you're joining us for the workshop this weekend, what should I make? Angie, I don't know, and my uh, little cousin works there. She's so mad. She said she was going to quit because I haven't put my picture out yet. Y'all, we're just going to keep ruffling these up. Yeah, Tammy's hiding back there again. Water. Hmm? Water. Y'all, I've been feeding Tammy crazy stuff this afternoon. God. Okay, have y'all seen the Coca-Cola that's called Starry Night? We're pretty sure it's pie crust. That's our that's our answer it's to true. what we think the flavor is. We should have Googled it. We could do that. It tastes like you're drinking graham crackers. Let's see what they're meaning for it to be. And then key lime pie, M&M's. And they taste just like it. They taste just like key lime pie. Did they refund any money? I don't know. I didn't even read the email if they sent one back yet. I copied Parker. He can talk to him. Make a patriotic centerpiece. What should you make? You created your boots. Awesome. Y'all, I was going to use the boots, but Jordan really wants to, he really wants to use the boots. Is it Story Night or Space? I'm pretty sure it says Story it's on Starry it. Story Night, but we are so close. What is it? Well, they won't say what it is because it's supposed to be a mystery like the galaxy. It ain't a mystery. It's a But they here. said it's supposed to be reminiscent of sitting around a campfire like s'mores, and people are saying it's a mix of Teddy Grahams and cola. That's close because you can definitely taste that yeah. graham cracker, nutty pie crust type of taste. Caramel plum? No. 
Somebody said mint. No. It's definitely not mint. No. That person needs to stay off the sauce. Yes. It's definitely a graham cracker. That's that when you said that and then I tasted it, it's definitely that graham cracker pie crust type of but s'mores is a good analogy. Okay, listen, the craziest thing though, it's pretty good. It is good. And I don't like Coke usually. Yeah. You think it's cotton candy, Josh. Somebody else said that too. We are cotton candy. I don't yeah, no. I don't get that. I get a nutty distinct taste, like graham crackerish. One of the mesh have jute in it. It's that one. This one? I smell it. I, that's what I did while I just ago. sneezed. Why would I sniff it? Well, that's what I did while ago and I told you it smelled like... Y'all, it's making me sneeze. Sniff it! <laughs> what kind of friend y'all got? Because that's mine. Oh. Becky said her space coke tastes like bottle caps the candy. I don't get that out of it. Me neither. I definitely get the pie crust. Jordan sent a picture. John says that I should make a huge fake bake so you can jump out of it. <laughs> John, I thought we were friends. What is wrong with you? A moon pie taste? It's no, take I don't a whole have lot of any, spackle. <laughs> I don't taste marshmallow. Mm -mm, no, but somebody else said moon pie on that. It's teddy cream. It, it is not bad. Christina said it tastes like cherry and chocolate. It's just a grand. I don't get that either. It's... And I've had the chocolate covered cherry Coke before. That I didn't taste that at all. All right, so we're almost done adding our 30 inch ruffles around the bottom. You'll stick with Pepsi. Oh, girl, I don't know if we can be friends. No, no. I'm just kidding. But no, no. I'm judging you a little bit. My daughter's a Pepsi drinker. Why? Mm -hmm. Oh. More to that story. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no little Nash. <laughs> I'm going to go back to one more <laughs> All right. Let's get our last 30 inch ruffle done. Yeah, Tammy's feeling went back home. Y'all, did y'all see the video that I posted of all the boxes the team packed today? It was crazy. When I walked in, I was like, what the heck? I could drink that again. That's actually really It's really good. good. All right. So we've got that going on. You want your Coke to taste like Coke? Mine's just a plain head label. People think that Michaels will be carrying Deco Exchange with them because you're in Michaels. No. Y'all, all I did was show people how to use Michaels products. So I was there representing uh, HowToMakeReese.com and not Deco Exchange. All right, so y'all, now we're going to take our 20 inch ruffles. We're going to. Roll it over just a little bit. Ruffle it up. <clears throat> Derica, they, three FedEx trucks came today and got all those boxes. Ellie, you do not hear rain. Wind. All right, let's get those 20 inch around the top. Yeah, roommate appearance. No, I went in the office. He's in there with Tammy, and he's just pouting. <laughs> he's my love muffin. So a result in a Parker's Live Sales. So if it's from Parker's Live Sales, it would only be the stuff from maybe Monday. Gingerbread Mountain Dew is nasty. I can see that. Ew. I think Mountain Dew is nasty to begin with. Okay. 
Do 16 inch oval grapevines seem tiny? No, they seem like a 16 inch oval. Brew loves Aunt Tammy. That's because she had snacks in her bag. That's true. And I scratch him with my fingernails. <laughs> yeah, whenever she, he would stop, he would literally just chew on her hand. Literally. If I stop scratching with, his, with my nails, he grabs my hand and just puts my hand in his mouth and doesn't even chomp down. He's like warning me, continue or else. <laughs> He's the best. Alright, we're almost done with the mesh. You can't decide which mat to get. Uh, just make sure it's a 24 by 36. That's all I would suggest. Sally joined us for this week's workshop. Y'all, y'all still didn't tell me what to make for this weekend. I don't want to do a centerpiece because there's a lot of centerpieces already being mm -hmm. done, I feel like. Anything with zero sugar is not on my list today. Oh, Dr. Pepper's zero no. sugar is so good. So gross. I love it. I don't like the, uh, I don't like the aftertaste. See, I don't think there is one with that. It's so good. Sounds like you got a lot of background noise. It sounds like we have AC because we thick and it's hot. <laughs> oh, I almost got kicked out today. Y'all, <laughs> listen to what Tammy did. Louisiana, 80 degrees, humid. She turned off the AC in my mom's house and forgot to turn it back on. I almost got kicked out. I thought for sure she was going to be homeless. <laughs> and I felt bad because that house really does heat up very quickly. I felt terrible. It's like, I'm not touching that again. All right, last ruffle. Uh, trying to decide to get a Cricut or Joy suggestion. So they're both Cricuts. So are you looking to make large projects or small projects? Because that's the only question you have to ask. The Joy can only make, um, if you're trying to use like it for wreaths, it can only make this. Literally. Because it's only this wide. They have a new Joy Smart Vinyl Link 24 feet. I saw it at Michael's the other day. Huh. I was like, what in the world? All right, let's check it out. Y'all, it just looks very spring to me. Yeah, it was 76 in mom's house when she got home. I felt terrible. Set that on top of all that plastic. Y'all, let's prep our sign next. Jordan, I know what I'm making. I told you what I was making. Oh, Maybe did I you see it. the photo that I sent y'all then? Oh, I look at the group message. <laughs> Listen, friend, I'm not up for changes. When was it? I don't know. Today? I don't know. No, not today. It was the middle of the night. Oh. If you press on the top of our messages. And we go to the photos. Yeah. Oh, Y'all, uh, I need it to load some more staples. Y'all, this is a wooden sign. Are we going to do the tree behind us? Well, so the thing with the tree is we've been kind of hesitant because we know we're doing the balloon garland and the balloon garland is going to be crazy like it's not just a regular garland it's a whole thing um 
and we don't want to like interfere with the tree and the garland. So we're trying to decide what we're going to do to make sure it doesn't look cattywampus back there. All right, y'all, wooden sign gives me a chance to bring out my staple gun. We're gonna put a pipe cleaner on all four Carlin, all four corners. Y'all, we don't talk about people like that. So even if you think that we have a better quality product, we don't need to. Play. No one needs bad juju. All right, let's staple the four corners. <laughs> Barb's already used and sold everything from the March box. Barb, I just saw it. How you already used it? Yeah, we can move the tree, but I don't want to decorate it tomorrow to have to move it on Wednesday, right? right. right? So right now, if the design interferes with the tree, we can always push the tree back to the corner or move it out completely for the weekend. But listen, that's a lot of work for Jordan to decorate that tree versus on the undecorated. Uh, Sandra, we have a couple hundred of those mats already in stock. We just need to uh, print some. I already have designs and everything. We just haven't made it an effort yet. You can't get your staple guns to work? Um, a lot of the time it's not the staple gun. It's the pressure that you put behind the staple gun. So whenever you go to staple, you need to make sure that you're pushing down with a lot of force. And I just want my staple gun in that hot glue. What time is the balloon gas starting? Well, with the new bad weather report, we have to see. roll it out it, it isn't roll there's steps there's no wheels on it uh and it's also like an 800 dollars tree so we're not going to push it around mm -mm. mike's watching the live hey mike and it's getting on to me for burning kathy and ernie up <laughs> mike good news no baby nash i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you i'm gonna kill you <laughs> oh my gosh all right Y'all, we're gonna take our sign. You know what, let's smash our wreath a little bit. So on these round frames, uh, the metal is super easy to bend. You can either take it and what I like to do is like lay it down like this and roll it up. That way you don't smash all your mesh and then just push it down just a little bit. and it'll start making it into a little oval shape. Uh, if you have arm strength, you can just do it with your arms. I think it looks bigger when you do that. I know it's not possible. It, so it just makes it look like there's more space from this spot. So whenever you put your rectangle sign, you leave a bigger open spot for your bow. Mike, I did hear though that you're getting another weenie dog. <laughs> Tammy said it said you can have another one and it's gonna be red. It's gotta wait, he's gotta wait until we move. He knows that. I did then, not hear that part of the agreement. Yes, it has to wait until we move. Has to wait. He knows. What do you keep the house at? Girl, 68. Mm -hmm. If you keep your AC on 76, you don't oh, have to plug your glue pot in. That's hot. 
it fits in a box easier too. All right, I am gonna put mine at a little bit of an angle. There's a girl that just joined. Who? I went to high school with a girl by this name. Who? Friend Jennifer Nemo, Eldridge. I wonder if it's her. Jennifer, if you went to school with Hammy, we need all the secrets. Start typing, girl. I don't know if it's her, but I know a girl with that exact same name. Where are you moving to, Tammy? She ain't moving nowhere. She's been talking about that for like five years. I can't move without my babies. So y'all, I'm just wrapping those pipe cleaners right around the frame. I would need a hoodie. Oh gosh, about us. We're fluffy. I just need a snack. It is her. Is it? I don't even see her talking. Where is she hiding? She at? said, Yes, I did go to school with her. Listen, our phone number is 504 553 I need yearbook pictures. I need. Oh, I have big hair. Mean girl stories. I there need. There were lies. I need all the things. I was not very nice in high school. I was nice to Jennifer, I think. We cheered together. She was on my cheer squad. Good night, Tiffany. Tiffany, I got your uh, little surprises, and they're super cute. Is Tammy already feeling better? The pregnancy has passed. Oh my god. People are gonna, the way you just said that, people are gonna be sending me condolences. No, no, friend. It was just the crawfish. <laughs> the food belly is gone. <laughs> There's a weenie dog rescue in Topeka. Uh, Diane wants to know how your daughter took the news about her pregnancy. Jennifer, seriously? I'll wait for God, them. I'm nervous. Let's just hope I gave you the right phone number and you're not texting some complete stranger <laughs> photos of Tammy. Do I know how much wreath faces are? They range anywhere between 625 and 750 usually. The OAD frame? Yeah, that's the <laughs> OAD ones. Lisa Callum, I saw you were live earlier. All right, now that we got our sign attached, let's put together a bow. Y'all, our bow is gonna be to bring out all of the colors from the sign. Others had custom frames made. I think Deco should do the oval work and pencil frames. Uh, we had custom frames made too, and oval frames are not custom. You can get them anywhere. They're just really expensive. You're in a tornado watching Texas, just north of Houston. It will stay safe. Tammy, what'd you do with all my ribbon? What did you do with it? You had it. <laughs> I was like, listen, you know your way around over there. It's underneath one of those centerpieces. Probably. That we have to find a place for tomorrow. We should uh, text... Uh her friend be like, hey, how many for one is that? All right, so we've got all the colors from the sun, and then some, lots of colors. Do that really sell for one, two, and a half inch?
All right, let me see if we can zoom in a little bit more. Where can you purchase the bow maker? Uh, DecoExchange.com or Amazon. Y'all, let me tell you a little secret. This cracks me up every time. We sell them on Amazon. We are the Amazon seller. And people will send us a message being like, your prices are too expensive, I'm buying it off Amazon. I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> Let me know what you think about your packaging when you get it. <clears throat> oh. All right, y'all, we're gonna measure about 12 inches. Did we ever figure out why David needed twine earlier? No, I never No, but we never made it to Walmart either. <laughs> We need to so if she gets to work tomorrow with her crooked eyebrows because she didn't have a mirror. <laughs> Alright. Measure out that 12. Go. You like this one? Mm -hmm. Six and a half to seven. I don't know if in the pictures I would love it as much, but it's really pretty. It really is pretty. Very spring-like. Yep. She got stencils for that, right? Yeah, they have saved me. Crazy. Y'all, what's funny is we charge $5 more on Amazon because they cost so much to spend there. Like, yeah, go for it, friend. All right, look how pretty this one is. I believe this one is still in stock. Maybe not, but I can give you this skew just in case. Um, RGA143313. Mel can't find the dowel to her bow maker. I'm pretty sure I sent Mel a hundred easy bow makers recently. So she's got a lot of dowels. Yeah. <laughs> frozen? I'm watching. I don't think we're frozen. You're not frozen. All right, now this pink is not quite the same pink that's in the sun. So I'm gonna put it towards the back of the bow. Carrie said it won't be the first time you had cooked eyebrows. Amen. Listen, y'all know, as long as I have eyebrows, I don't care. Uh, the neighbor's dog went through this. You didn't hear that man talking? She is going to end up on the first 48 one day, y'all. <laughs> Last night, she didn't hear whatever that noise was. The truck. A random truck driving by. She was like, I didn't hear nothing. I'm like, what? <laughs> now, there's a grown man talking outside the door saying, hey, come here. And she ain't heard it. Better hope it's a dog he's talking to. First Not 48. Like We're going to see it. Billy Club over our head. <laughs> well, I'll have a good partner in crime if I'm on the first 48 this time. <laughs> Did y'all hear the man talking? I don't hear anything. Well, he's not talking anymore. She's like trying to listen now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't hear it. <laughs> They need to get their spidey sense fixed, y'all. They want to know if you're going to do microblading. I don't think so. Y'all, I couldn't get Tammy to go get an IV of vitamins with me. And y'all think they're going to do microblading on her face? I did a tattoo and I about passed out, y'all. I would do microblading, but I have my holy moly, and I just don't know that they're going to do it. One lady said she wouldn't do it. Another one said she would. Makes me nervous. John said he heard him. If I could 
have a guarantee that I wouldn't end up with an eyebrow falling off in my lap like six days later, I'd consider it. But right now it's just stencils. So our loops are just getting slightly smaller with every ribbon. Yeah, Sandra, uh, they don't carry the Bowmaker at Hobby Lobby or Michaels anymore. Are we afraid to be in the warehouse by ourselves? There's 1,300 people watching. Like, what are they going to do? And you all have my address. Like, literally look at a box probably two feet from you right now. If y'all see someone come in, 911. Hey. They need help at... Okay, I just want to know how many of y'all can see a deco exchange box from where you're sitting right now. I need to know. Uh, everyone's saying they got the stencils like you. I hope you had an affiliate link for that. No, I got it at Ulta. She hasn't learned nothing. <laughs> I just got it at Ulta. Even if you got it at Ulta, you should have found one on Amazon. Gosh dang, man. Tonight, I'll get you a nothing, link. Nothing, y'all. I'll get you a link. I didn't even think about Amazon. Honestly, I didn't. Uh, Rusty just sold seven wreaths. Woohoo! I've got about 20 that I need to list. Y'all, last night we were at that uh, event, and all those ladies wanted a wreath. And I was thinking, y'all just want to follow us about two blocks to the left. Literally, they were going to pass them out like trick-or-treat candy. Like, listen, y'all just, just drive by and we'll just stick them in the window. The problem is hand they have thought. Hand me cash, we'll hand you a wreath. They have thought over it. Surrounded by them, I can, me, at least 10 boxes. Kevin, what you got? Kevin, if you got some 60919, you should list that stuff for sale, girl. You'll be rich tomorrow. Uh, Melody just emptied one. Uh, Janet carried hers to the craft room basement. Basements kind of creep me out. Tammy wants a basement. I do want a basement. We don't have basements in the south, like in Louisiana. We're below the water table, so they would just fill up with water. So it's not our thing. So we're all good. No, but you see one from Polka Dot Wreath Co. Uh, Kelly. Woo -woo. Wrong story, <laughs> friend. Just kidding. Who put on the women's entrepreneur event? Uh, Carol, the lady who uh, picked up a lot of the food that we had during the hurricane and was feeding uh, people in the city, uh, she hosted the event. It was at the same place we did uh, our Christmas party at that you came to. All right, we need a long pipe cleaner, which is none of these things. Y'all, we did order more long pipe cleaners today, I believe. Oh, she ain't sharing that one, y'all. What? The 60919. Mm -mm. No one's selling theirs. I don't blame y'all. None of us are selling it. We're not interested. All right. Y'all, we're going to just take our pipe cleaner. Uh, I am wearing a black shirt, so it's hard to see, so give you some contrast there. This is a 20-inch pipe cleaner. What I like about it is it gives you enough to wrap around your bow. Waiting on your order with your new stem cutter. Y'all, we have so many stem cutters in the warehouse right now. We we're actually giving some stem cutters away during the workshop. What else are we giving away? Gift cards, stem cutters, uh, doormats. What else did you say? That's something. Oh, uh, we're gonna mixed some, boxes of 60919. We're going to do some tumblers. Y'all, uh, I designed a doormat last night to give away. Is it funny? It's about crafting. It's welcome to the craft room. Oh.
Somebody have, has a craft caboose shed. Is it really a train? No, it's just a uh, shed. She shed. Uh, They've been asking for a mat, though, whoever said that, unless someone else calls theirs the craft caboose. Yeah, I heard that uh, China shut down like 51 million employees this week. Tell me you ship my stuff before then. For what? COVID. The new strand of COVID is really bad there or something. All right, look how pretty our bow is. There will be door prizes, and there's a lot of door prizes. Well, somebody said they'd like to have the scissors. But I don't know that we have that scissors. It's a giveaway. But if we do, y'all, I kept about 40 of them for myself. So if I have some extra ones, I'll give away some scissors. Okay. I would cut wire with them, and it works. I think it sharpens them. Uh, Lisa, you'll be able to win things. So y'all, what we actually do uh, before the challenge even starts, it's not rigged, but it is predetermined. Literally before it starts, we go through and we say, hey, we have 50 door prizes, and we just literally go through everyone that's in the group when we start and we randomly pick the 50 winners and they're all written on the board off to the side and then we just throughout the night we all look at the board and we can each pick a person off the board so the most important part there is you want to be in before it starts true story it is random i mean i promise you it's random it's not yeah we don't most of the time we are all like sometimes i wish it wasn't random because one time i pulled a person from australia and they won, like, three rolls of ribbon, and it cost me $120 to ship them. We did that <laughs> one time at Quick One. We picked somebody that was from Canada, and, it, you know, they still won. I was like, ooh. It was random. Ooh, I'm going to make sure I fill that box up. You have to do it. No, you don't have to be present to win. You just have to make sure that you're in the list of people when we go through the list to pick winners. Oh, I think I have scissors that I pulled out for Jordan that he never got. So I'll just give you all those. <laughs> if. Jordan. Jordan said if he has extras. You feel bad that... You, how many pairs of scissors do you have, Angie? Angie, what? If we're talking 6091 now, girl, I got you beat, I promise. I can see I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like thirteen, 12, fourteen, 13. fifteen, sixteen cases here. I know there's about six more in the other warehouse. I ain't running out of that. All right. Y'all, I am about to put that in the wrong spot. So our sign is right here. The top of our oval is right here. I want my bow to sit right in this spot here. Tina said she got picked for a free sign on your live the first time she ever watched, and she's been hooked ever since. Yay! It's fun to win, but I like the learning part so much that, you know, the winning is always just a bonus, but man, it's fun. You never win anything in your life? You're winning every day, like you beat death. Just saying. Listen, the way you look at your life is exactly how it's going to portray. So if you're very negative or if you feel bad about things, nothing is ever going to happen. So, tomorrow you're going to wake up with a different attitude. You're going to call yourself a winner. You're going to do all the little affirmation things. You're going to believe it, for one. And then see how things change. What are the colors from Mother Day? Whatever your mother likes, I guess. Like, I don't think there's any in particular. Like, if I was making something for my mom, it would be very farmhouse. 
if I was making something for Mel, who is also a mommy, something very girly and pink. I was going to make a joke, but someone would get their panties twisted. So we won't. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. All right, so we got our bow on there. Jolene says, anytime you're looking out the green grass and not roots, it's a good day. There was some really good inspiration last night. Like, yeah. That was a really good message that we heard, too. Uh, Jacqueline just wanted an air fryer. Jacqueline, air fryers are your best friend. Heck, yeah. All right. Rusty said her husband's a lucky person because he married you. Where's that going? Oh, well, that lady that I thought had a caboose. She wanted a real train caboose, but her husband nixed it. So when they had their storage shed builder build it, he built one that looked like a caboose. So you almost had to get a divorce, but then he crawled back out the hole. Like, he still gave you the train yeah. caboose. I think that needs to be on Pinterest. I would love to see that. That's, that's like right. a long way to happen. Y'all, we're going to grab our ribbon and cut ourselves some tails. Y'all, I only have uh, one set of two, this one, and I kind of want to do this one all the way around with maybe, which one do you like better? that be this one you just place an order thank you people misunderstood when you said you had those 16 cases of 60919 oh so yeah they're, they're, not, they're not for y'all those are mine they're searching to you might want to figure that out. christina i have a lot of recipes photographed written out they're just not published yet all right, y'all, we are going to do, I really don't want to do all the same, so we're not. Then don't. We're swapping that up. Somebody's new and doesn't know what 60919 is. It's just a really cool uh, flower that everyone likes to use. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're going to do three, one and a half, and one. And then these two and the other. So we're just gonna need none at 12 inches. Would I use gaps and cracks in rain boots? I'm gonna say no because they're a soft rubber, and that gaps and cracks would make them look like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't have any 60919 for the public right now. I do not. Not even for the private people, just for me. <laughs> Listen, if you think he's sharing with any of us, you're wrong. <laughs> nope. I'm hiding all that before Jordan gets here. <laughs> He'll be having 15 projects planned out with my 60919. Uh, this board is from Hot Mesh Mom. The only person that uh, I know is still expecting 60919 that I haven't seen get it yet is Trendy Tree. Um, unless she got it and sold it and didn't tell me. Then I feel like she would have told me. All right, let's do nine of these. Two, three, four. What time is it? 9.38. Y'all, let me text Carrie real quick. 
before it's too late and see if she got her six and nine one then. Also, the Ruse caller said you did 26,000 steps today, and that is definitely not true. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, they must count every foot. Like, oh, one step no. is four. He did not. <laughs> he, always, he always gets like 25 to 39,000 steps in a day. Somebody lies like a wreck. Because <laughs> I've got pictures to prove he did not do that. All right, y'all, I texted Carrie. We'll see if she has it. Somebody said Trendy Tree got a shipment of floral today. So I don't know what was in it. Jordan said he will gladly help you list all of your reads so see while he is there. Well, Jordan, you better come in tomorrow. I mean, Tammy could have done that for her 4 o'clock class every day. Just show y'all how to make listings. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, if I have pictures, are they all photographed? No. That's the problem. <laughs> Let's just be realistic here. What part needs to happen? Y'all, my scissors have something sticky on them. Uh-oh. Pretty fast dog. I wonder if Parker used my scissors when he was showing off the monthly box to open it. He likes to do that, y'all. He's cut so much better without the sticky resin. That's the wind. Uh, did the ribbon with the hot pink come in the monthly box? Uh, if it did, it'll be on that sheet of paper with all the skews. So you guys have a cheat sheet every month to tell you exactly what's in your box now. John Norell just called Jordan out. Jordan, you don't get your reads listed on Etsy. John, listen, we're not going to talk about that because we're going to list mine. That's more important. <laughs> All right. We're going to take it and we're going to do nine of these, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Janet, if you answered the questions last night, you were approved today for sure. Because I approved about 200 people this morning that had answered all the questions, and I approved people uh, on the way back from dinner that had answered all the questions. If you did not answer all the questions, you have not been approved yet because that takes a lot of time and energy. And I haven't had either. Uh, customer service will take over probably tomorrow with uh, adding people. And then they'll go through all the people who just didn't feel the need to answer the questions, or the people who didn't see the questions. Sometimes if you buy it on mobile, when you hit to join the group, it doesn't even show you the questions. But they will go through all of them and get you added. Y'all, this ribbon is really my favorite one. That Swiss dot is amazing. Anything Swiss dot I love, but that minty color is so pretty. All right, let's do nine of these real quick. Two, three. What did we have for dinner? Uh, we went to a hibachi place. No problem, Janet. Beth, did you uh, contact customer support? There's also no group in Makers University you get into. It just takes you to the Facebook, Facebook group. group. Until after when we add the replays. Uh, can I show you what 6019 looks like? Uh, yeah, it's perfect. It's just a flower. Do 
Jordan said while Tammy's sitting there, she'd be taking pictures. Oh, I saw that. You know? I don't know which ones are not photographed. If they're on anything but the wall, they're not photographed. Jordan's saying all those ones that he did back there are photographed. And they're in the drive. Well, then why didn't he list them? I don't know. We can figure that out. Jordan, I told you to come in a day early. We could have worked. You did? Okay, they'll get a few breath. One, two, three, four, five. It said you were in the wrong place. So if you are a creative coaching student trying to sign up, you just need to log in to the membership portal, click on creative, and then scroll down, and there's, you should see it right there. Michael's let someone have the sign. I asked for it. They wouldn't let me have it. They shouldn't allow anyone to take no. it until after the season after is the over. After the program's over, yeah. They said they're going to recycle it and use it again in the beginning of the summer is what she told me. She said that particular one, because it had more stuff, yeah. they were waiting until, like, the summertime. So I said, okay. But then they told me they were going to throw it away after that. And I was like, what? It's early to be letting people have that. Yeah. It goes with their Easter display. Unless they're out at Easter. Megan uh, tried to get on the first 48 and we went to Hibachi with her. Why? You don't remember that? She was talking to all those strangers? Like, you don't do that in New Orleans. Like, just eat, oh, I, girl. I didn't know that she did that. What? We were at the Hibachi place, and she's trying to talk to all the people across the table. Like, another family. I'm like, you're out. Mm-hmm. Why? She just eat. Oh, well, why? I'm with Megan. I don't understand. Why are you going to end up on the first 48 for being friendly? You don't talk in first class. You do, too. You do not. If you're going to go down, you want to make sure to hold hands with somebody. No. <laughs> you do not talk in first class, and you do not talk to strangers at the restaurant. Why? Because it's New Orleans. Was that about your place here? That's why First 48 is filmed in the Ninth Award. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> no. <laughs> Megan, I'm with you. She also didn't hear people talking outside a while ago, so... I don't meet strangers either, Kennedy. I don't get it. I don't get it. Because you don't meet them. They are on their own dinner party, not at yours. You just let them sit over there. But what if they make eye contact with you? You look away. No! (laughs) No! Why are you staring at them? That's rude! Why are you staring at them? What if they're in my eyes face and they're staring at me? Well, you have to look at them to notice that. So you're just weird and stared out at your plate? You talk to the people that are with you. Maybe. No. Like, she was talking across the table? All the way across the box table. Like, there's a person cooking between us. Oh, wait a minute. It's not like they were like... Well, I'm thinking they're like in our U shape. Megan, you don't talk across the restaurant, people. I thought you meant the U shape. That wife was about to get her. Oh, she was talking to the, not even, look, a husband, over there. <laughs> I thought you meant she was, like, talking to the people next to her. I'm like, but why can't you be friends with somebody that you're eating with? If he's next to, like, she's over there talking to the man. <laughs> I'm like, listen. Oh, I'm dying. <sighs> Megan. <laughs> My husband says never make eye contact. No. <laughs> oh, oh Just God. eat your food. I'm laughing so tip the little hibachi guy. Talk to your people. And you get out of there. That's funny. All right. Y'all, we got our mesh on. We've got our bow on. This is taking a long time tonight. We got our sign on. Let's get some tails going.
Y'all think I'm kidding, but look up Ninth Ward, first 48 in Cops. They aired a whole season for like a long time here. How far away is Ninth Ward? You know that little sketchy area you drive through to get here from the airport? Yeah. That's the Ninth Ward. The one where right I told past, Finn, if right you roll down your window again, I'm kind of... Yeah, whenever you went over that drawbridge that you tried to get out of the car on, and you came off the bridge, that area. Yeah, well, that's where he rolled the window down. I was hanging out of it like a fool. All right. We're going to take it. We're going to pinch it. We're gonna fold it out and we're gonna just Joy, that's not listening. She was allergic to shrimp at the hibachi place. They're about to throw a shrimp at her. Take her out right there. How'd Megan die? Flirt with that girl's husband got a shrimp. Was she flirting with him? No. <laughs> Megan, no. She wasn't flirting at all. But the problem is Megan's so friendly. She literally only said like hi or something. She's so friendly though. And people don't know how to take that, but she's friendly. She wasn't trying to flirt with the person, y'all. She's not that way at all. She's just friendly. Megan smiles. Megan is a ray of sunshine in a room. That's a good way to describe her. How can you check your subscription box orders? Well, when you signed up, you uh, should have created an account, and then you just log into that account and you can check it. You can always uh, check your email for the receipt. You can check your email for tracking information. Did you know Megan's allergic to shrimp? I did not know that. Yeah, she'll spell up. Oh, that poor girl. How'd she do here? We eat shrimp all the time. She survived. I didn't know that. Is she allergic to all seafood or just shrimp? I didn't ask all her business. Well, we kind of need to know those things since we eat seafood constantly. No, that's all you didn't know what you can and can't eat. <laughs> Listen, if you eat my food and swell up like a little blimp, that's all you. <laughs> like, hey, let's go to the seafood restaurant and take a bite of my food. <laughs> that's all you. <laughs> Did you just, did you just say the word clip? <laughs> I was trying to think of that girl's name on Trolling Violet, Park. Is it yeah, Violet, Violet. Listen, if you go all Violet on me, that ain't my fault. Violet's turning Violet. <laughs> like, you gotta know what to put in your mouth, not me. You're All right. You watched the first 48 and never figured it out because they didn't find the body. If they don't oh. find it in the first 48, oh, mystery ain't solved. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Michelle's allergic to shellfish. See, if you're allergic, you gotta know what you can know what to do. It's not me. Be careful in Vegas too, listen. You'll end up working before you know it. Megan <laughs> said, I'm a bad Asian. I'm allergic to shrimp. I'm a bad southerner. I don't like sweet tea. <laughs> Megan. All right. Y'all, you can see how we're adding those tails there. It's a little hard to see when we're going around the outside edge, but once we come around the top, I'll be able to show you better how we add those. looking like Will Smith and Hitch when she blows up. Well, listen, we can just rub a little bit of shrimp on your lips, and then it's like free Botox. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my God. If all you're going to do is swell up, let's utilize it, girl. <laughs> I can't do this. I have to go to the bathroom in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I left lights on and the door unlocked. It doesn't matter. Then but, I'm going to think first 40 acts man, following me in. That man talking out there might be in. No, I would have. Uh, it would be. Uh, they, they better get the chalk out because they're going to be tracing around me if he comes in behind me. I would just die of a stroke right there. I would just fall over dead. Get the chalk out. <laughs> I'm taking a dirt nap. I, it's over. Where's the boot going? There's a country song about one for sure. Well, I um, some boot tonight. But there's no boot on our wreath. Gotta wait for Jordan. Yep. We promised. It's the one thing we're gonna keep. So Jordan doesn't ask for a lot, so when he does, we're gonna try to honor that. He doesn't ask for a lot. He doesn't ask like for that. He really, really wanted to do the boot. Now listen, he'll be in here making stacks by noon on Wednesday of stuff. Uh, what, we gave Megan an energy drink one time. That was fun. Why would you do that? You know. Oh my word, that's like giving her coffee. No way. That wind is kicking. Oh man, it's whistling. Yeah. It's like it's just going between all the metal buildings out here. Too much shrimp would give you gout, then I'm gonna have the gout for sure. Am I gonna do a live with the boot when you get home? When I get home, yes. Is this for sale? It will be if we ever missed it. <laughs> no, Jordan, no, we do not. <laughs> the good news is if it's raining tomorrow and I can't go live in the coaching group, I can just list stuff. So I can take photos and copy this thing real quick. <laughs> Megan said she was rolling ribbon for kids like there was no tomorrow when she was on that energy drink. She was. <laughs> Y'all, whenever they came, they sold 575 of these bunny things. I'm not happy that she came when I wasn't here. I didn't well, get to see her. Well, you came. I know. I should have. You know what I was That's doing. That's your fault. There was no room at the end, man. <laughs> there was no room at the end. The other day I gave Kaylee an energy shot. She was like, my, my lips are tingling. They do too. I'm like, girl. <coughs> Just press signs. Where can you purchase it? Uh, it'll be in our Etsy shop after this. It'll be decoexchange.etsy.com. I just got to finish it first. things about people on these they, lives. They want to see your boot, Tammy. My boot. My boot. I need to see if the boot will fit Emsley. I bet it will. It's a three or a four. Oh, it's too big. It's cute, though. I'm anxious to see what Jordan does with it. Candy made a wreath with the boots already. Oh, she did? And it's super cute. I have to go stalk her page. All right, y'all, we have one more set of tails around the bottom here. How many tails are you put in each tie? Well, on the one with two and a half and one and a half, two tails. And the one with all one and a half inch ribbons, I put three. We love all the cute pics with Rue. He just loves to be the center of attention. He does. Y'all, if you are talking to someone else and he thinks he should be involved, he, uh, he has to get in the middle. I should show him that picture with his tongue sticking out today. Like, Parker cannot talk to me at work without Rue getting between us. 
Parker, when he got to work today, gave me a hug, and Rue literally got between us and stood up. Mm, not today. You're his person. He's like, oh, I don't think so. Uh, Tia got size two boots. That might be what size they are. All right, so you can see we did uh, the tails all the way around. Everybody got different size boots. I think they come in three different sizes. Yeah, two, three, I got and threes. four. Two, three, four, I think. All right, so what we've been doing is just everywhere these little ties are. So on my frame, there are 18 ties, 10 on the bottom, eight on the top. That's why we used nine of each set. If you make your own frame or use a different size frame, you're going to have a different amount of ties. You're reading and it said boobs. Well, everyone has a different set of those too. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Evidently when I said boots, it said boobs. Mercy. They're going to flag us for that one. Yes, Deco Exchange was trying to sell boobs. Uh, Janet, I'm pretty sure the storms aren't coming this far south. I think they're going to stop a little bit above us. Damn boots. Oh boy. This is going to go south real quickly. That would have been a lot in shipping. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Can we get those after the reduction? <laughs> Last night, did I tell you that picture? Oh, yeah. Oh, for the love. I won't be wearing that dress again anytime <laughs> soon. They were bigger than that poor girl's head. Yay, Gloria. <clears throat> well, we did meet some really cool people at the mm -hmm. event last night. Um, hopefully one of the ladies we're able to connect with, and she'll come be a guest speaker in the business coaching yes. group. Loved her. She was very nice. She was very smart. Mm -hmm. Y'all, she's a, a accountant for the government. Not uh, the IRS. Yeah. The government. She was very clear. <laughs> Not the IRS, the government. Um, she owns multiple businesses. She owns... Uh, she flips houses. Flips houses. And does real estate. Yeah. She's, she's a smart lady. Yeah. She's a smart lady for sure. And she knew what she was talking about. Yeah. And wasn't afraid to tell you if you, like, if you're not walking the straight line with your business, she needs you to know what's about to happen to you. Yeah. I liked her. She was a straight shooter. I think it was uh, fun to see because, all right, she was an older woman. Mm -hmm. She was a black woman. And she still beat every odd against her to be a successful... I would say she's probably a multi-million. I, I agree with that. Sure. Just how she came across. So I felt like her story would be inspiring to a lot of our people. Oh, she owns Airbnbs too. Yeah. There was something else she did. I don't remember, but she really stuck out to me. She was really all about mentoring people. Yeah, she was about encouraging uh, <clears throat> younger youth all the good things. She was definitely our people. Where was the meeting? Uh, it was just a local restaurant, so just a bunch of locals. Mm -hmm. It was cool, though. It would, it would be neat to see people do something like that locally. Yeah. I think she charged... $45, you got your dinner and the guest speakers. I have a tail ribbon on my belt that is dovetailed. Girl, if you look close, I haven't dovetailed any of them. I do that last. Tammy's over here listening for trains. Girl, we don't get tornadoes. No, I was, I was listening for...
the other lady was a rapper, a uh, preacher, author, what else? She was a good speaker, for sure. She was a good speaker. I don't remember what else she did. Music production of some kind. <clears throat> she wrote two books. Uh, she feeds the homeless in New Orleans. I didn't see that on her Instagram. But she came literally from the projects. Yeah. And literally became an adult at the age of 14. And had to raise her, her younger siblings. Yeah. So she her, was, uh, her cool mom went to jail. She was 14. She had to raise her brother. She had to pay their rent. She had to do all the things. So it was fun to hear how she turned her life around, for sure. And she's raising two successful kids. Yeah. One was the Florida Gators. He is. I saw the picture. He's a the main running back for the Florida Gators. Yeah. And he's there on a full scholarship. That's impressive. Not only did you pull yourself up out of poverty and you broke that cycle but you also continued to do that for your children and you could her daughter was there with her last night and you could tell that yeah. respect was deep yeah you could tell that she really respected her mom it's crazy she's another one that would absolutely call you to the carpet for being oh yeah not so cool in your business she would for sure it's somebody you would want on your side to be able to tell you when you're going the wrong way all right this is our last ribbon tail then we can dovetail our bow make sure these don't cover up our little boots on our sun And y'all, she admitted, like, she had, she sold drugs. She did whatever it took to raise her, her brothers and sisters, but she didn't let that define her story. And she now tells that story to other kids who are struggling, who are coming off of addiction, who are coming off of all these things, so that she can let them know that just because you were shady, you don't have to be shady. Right. Right. So I thought it was, one, super awesome to have her be honest about her background and how she's using that background as um, part of the platform that she has to change people or show people that just because you have a past, it doesn't have to define who you are mm -hmm. and your success. Like she wrote her book in the local library between work and two jobs. She's a go-getter, you can tell. And she didn't know how to type. It's crazy. She said she pecked away at it, and the librarians helped her. Almost done, y'all. Just got a few left to dovetail. What was her name? Uh, Keely Black? Keely. I've got her on my Instagram. Keely Black, I think. K E E L Y B L A C K. I am Keely Black. That's her Instagram handle. She goes by something else. Yeah. What's her book called? Kitty. K E E D Y. Oh, Kitty, not Keely. Kitty. I am Kitty Black. K E E D is in dog. Y. Black. She said her book was a bestseller. <clears throat> yep. She's got lots of pictures of her son on her Instagram. All right, y'all. Just a simple uh, deco mesh ribbon wreath. It definitely screams spring. 
All right, y'all, that's all I got tonight. Uh, definitely go check out the workshop. It's You can go to damonsguest.com to check that out. That will be starting uh, officially on Thursday. We do have a bonus for Wednesday to kick it off. Um, you can check out the wreath supply box at wreathsupplybox.com. If you haven't yet and you already get the box, go check out the new upgrade option. It's really fun. Um, I think you'll be excited about the designs that we have coming out for that. And you can get supplies at decoexchange.com. All right, you guys have a good night. And uh, I do not know if I will see y'all tomorrow or not, but Tammy may be live in here at some point. We'll see. Yep. All right. See you later.